This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Get your music in all the major online stores and streaming services for less than 20 bucks a year. Use my VIP link in the description to get a discount on your first year. What's up everyone, my name is Samus and welcome to Easy Drum Beats for Learning Double Bass. We're gonna make this as simple as possible, so let's get to it! The first beat is gonna be from the Dream Theater song, Pull Me Under. First off, this is one of my favorite Dream Theater songs. It's just such a well-written song. So much fun to play, even though it's not very fast. Also, just listening to Mike Portnoy play the drums is bound to give you some inspiration. I know it's given me a lot. So here's what this beat sounds like. This is probably one of the easiest double bass beats to play. It's nice and slow and really gives you a good feel of running with your feet, and it keeps things nice and simple on the hands for you. So let's get you going with this beat, shall we? We're gonna count it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if we just start with the hands, it's a nice slow rock beat. You get the cymbal on every count and the snare on every three. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm good? And once you're good with that, add a bass drum on every count in unison with the hi-hat. The last thing to add is the left kick, which is going to be inserted on the end of every beat. So if your right foot's playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the left is going to be doing the end of every count, it'll be like this really slow. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If we slow the whole beat down, it'll sound like this. And back to regular speed. If for some reason you're some kind of a weirdo and you don't like Dream Theater, or if this song is too slow for you, there is a more metal song you can practice this beat to, which is Dead Skin Mask by Slayer. Okay, so the next drum beat I'm gonna show you is actually not even a drum beat at all because it's time for a word from our sponsor. What's up everyone? We are back for week two of DistroKid Month and today I'm gonna show you guys just how freaking easy it is to get your music uploaded and into online stores. If you missed last week's video and you don't know what DistroKid is, it is the easiest and cheapest way to get your music into iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, all the major distributors and streaming services. It costs less than 20 bucks a year, you get to keep 100% of the royalties and you can upload as many songs as you want. And speaking of uploading songs, I'm gonna show you guys right now just how easy it is. Okay, so first sign into your DistroKid account, then you go to the top of the page and click on upload. First things first, right at the top of the page, you can choose whether or not you want your music in all of the possible outlets. This can really come in handy when you're about to release an album and you don't want it available for streaming just yet. You know, you want just like download only for a couple of weeks or a month or something like that. So you can deselect Spotify and Apple Music, etc., and just have it available in the downloadable stores for the first month, and then you can go back to your dashboard later and add them to Spotify and Apple Music whenever you want. Next, just choose how many songs you're releasing at once whether it's a single, EP, or full album. Also make sure you've got the correct band name that you want to appear in stores. Next part is the release date. If you have a standard DistroKid account, as soon as you press done on the bottom of the upload page, they're gonna get to work on releasing your stuff into the stores right away. However, if you upgrade to the Musician Plus plan, they let you pick a custom release date anytime in the future, and they also let you do pre-orders, which are fucking great. Another pretty cool perk of upgrading your account allows you to choose the name of your record label that appears next to your name. Next, just upload your artwork, and they even give you some nice tips below just to make sure you don't accidentally upload something that's gonna get rejected. Next, you can pick your language and musical genre, or secondary genre if you want. Put in your song title, upload the audio file, and then you pick whether or not it's a cover song or an original song. Another amazing perk with DistroKid is that they let you upload cover songs. You do have to pay $1 a month for each cover song that you upload, but DistroKid takes care of everything for you, including getting the licensing and paying the original songwriter their share of the royalties for you. Next are just some yes or no questions about 
about your music. And if you upgraded your account here, you can also choose your track price for Google Play, Amazon, or iTunes. Last but not least, we have the optional but awesome extras. The Instagram and Facebook option is completely free and it allows users of these platforms to easily add your music to their posts. The YouTube money option gets your music added to YouTube's content ID database. What this means is that if somebody else on YouTube uploads a video that has your content in it, YouTube will automatically detect this and send the revenue straight into your pocket instead of the person who uploaded it. My favorite extra option here is called Leave a Legacy. If you select Leave a Legacy, DistroKid will never delete your music from stores due to a lapsed membership or even if you die. You'll continue to collect 100% of the royalties on your music as normal forever. Leave a legacy for future generations. And that's pretty much it. There's just a few more mandatory checkboxes at the bottom of the page just to make sure you agree with all the terms and you are donezo. DistroKid will send you an email shortly after letting you know that they have submitted your music to stores. They even send you another courtesy email later on letting you know when your music is live. Easy peasy! And remember guys, if you are signing up to DistroKid, remember to use my VIP link. You will get 7% off your first year of service. It's great! Okay, welcome back, and let's get to the next beat, which is the verse riff from Pantera's Domination. This is nice and simple because it's an easy rock beat on the hands and the feet are only doing four hits at a time. But actually for a lot of beginner metal drummers, it's a lot easier to do a consistent double bass beat rather than a stop and go pattern like this one. So this beat will definitely help you with your limb coordination. Let's slow it down. If you put on a metronome around 130, 140 BPMs and just do this beat over and over and over again, yeah, your legs are gonna feel pretty good. Another easy drum beat for playing double kick is In Your Face by Children of Bodom. This beat is almost exactly the same as the Pull Me Under beat, but if you're ready to get a little bit faster, <laughs> then step right up. We've still got the hi-hat and the right bass drum on the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, with the snare drum on the three and the left kick on the end of every beat again. This one's easy peasy, right? You got it? Yeah? Next! Now before we get into the cool double bass patterns, I'm gonna show you one more beat that has constant double bass and oh boy, this is a good workout for your legs. It's about 50 beats per minute faster than in your face and if you can get through this whole song, like all the way through, you're gonna feel great! Spheres of Madness by Decapitated. Since this beat is a little bit faster, we'll make things easier by counting it in eights. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it? So first play your quarter notes on the hi-hat on the one, three, five, and the seven. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy. Now add a bass drum with your right foot for every single count. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So while the foot's doing all the eights, you do the one, three, five, and seven with the hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to add the left bass drum, once again, these are gonna be on the end of every count. So with both feet even slower, it'll be one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. And once you've got that down, the snare is going to be played on every five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So super slow, it's going to sound like this. And back up to normal speed. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Since we're currently around the 166 tempo area, let's go ahead and experience the classic Puritania by Dimu Borgir. Pretty much the same tempo as Spheres of Madness, but it's not consistent double bass throughout the whole beat. And it's such a freaking cool pattern. If you play this beat around other people, 99% of the time they're gonna look and be like, yeah. So let's play it super slow. It even sounds cool slow. Damn. Okay, so the next beat is gonna be Down With The Sickness by Disturbed. This one is pretty simple, especially if you know the song, and let's be honest, who doesn't know this song? There's two ways of going about starting this beat, either the hands or the feet first, but let's just do the hands first. So get your right hand starting out with quarter notes on the ride cymbal. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll count this in eights to make the snare part even easier. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna put the snare drum on the three and the seven. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's put both hands together. And for the bass drums, you're just matching the guitars exactly. So da 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 Now let's get into some triplets. One of the easiest drum beats with a triplet feel double bass pattern is the verse riff from Laid to Rest by Lamb of God. Yes, there are some more complicated kick patterns in this song, but we're just gonna stick with the verse beat for now. So assuming this song is in 6-8, we're gonna count it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So start it out by playing the hi-hat on the 1 and the 4 of each measure, and also a snare on the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And to add in the feet, it's gonna be one kick for every count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a really good song to play double bass all the way through. You can even forget about the trickier parts if you want to. It'll be a great leg workout. And if there's any advanced players watching this video, this is also a great song to practice 16th note double bass to all the way through. And last but not least, one more triplet song I recommend you learn is Love by Strapping Young Lad.
This song is chock full of Gene Hoagland groove, and Gene's actually another one of those drummers who will just give you a lot of creative inspiration just by listening to him play. This is the verse beat of the song, and like a lot of other great metal songs out there, the kicks are matching the guitars exactly. So the guitars are going So with the feet, you're doing the same thing. And there's really no correct footing for this beat. You can play it however you want as long as you play all the hits. For me, you can see that I start with the first set of triplets with my right foot, the second set with my left foot, and then the last set with my right again. The reason I do this is because if you were playing all 16th notes through that, those limbs would be doing those hits. If we subdivide it, right, left, right, that's just how I do it. I'm a Bachy. Sucks! And for the hands, it's very easy, just a nice solid rock beat. And that's gonna do it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video will help you in your quest and learning double bass. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one Skype lesson with me to talk about some more in-depth stuff, please send me an email, samus at 66samus.com and we can book something. Yeah. Take care now, bye bye then, and this concludes our broadcast day.